everyone, and welcome to Drunk and Confessions, episode 63. Yay! <laughs> All right, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Anyone new to our show, I am the Spirit Guide Cass. We have our hostess, Amy, and next to her is her arm candy husband. He likes being called that. <laughs> I'm sure. Then we have our head engineer, Steph, and Dave the Enabler. Welcome, yeah, everybody. We <laughs> Hi. Happy, happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the hell of a week, so cheers. Oh, 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 oh shit. Why is it a hell of a week, Amy? <laughs> I feel like every day or every week this year is a hell of a week. That's like the new norm. Okay, everybody wants to throw around that phrase new norm. The new norm is it's been a hell of a week. The new norm no is what. this shit sucks. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm going with anyways. This sucks. We don't like it. Boo. I'm over it. Yeah. Just saying. All right, so, over it all. Um, I'm not including this year in my age because I didn't use it. So right? um, that's a great idea. Can we all be like redo our birthdays? <laughs> I'm all for it. You know me. Anything for a party. Woo woo. Yeah, for sure. Well, that that is true. Which uh, we'll skip to that topic. Um, as she said, anything for a party. We just had a party this past weekend. Yeah. Um, and by party, I mean like four people. Like we're not crazy people. I'm jamming. <laughs> no. Right. Like it's always a party if we're there. It doesn't matter if it's just us. It's a and party. The four, <laughs> the four people are on the screen right now. Um, right. <laughs> so it was really funny. We had a goodbye Cass's uterus party. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did share on our personal pages like all the funny pictures. We had addiction notices. We had Cass's bloody margaritas that we served. It was a great time. It was. It was yeah. a blast. I can't believe how much Amy went all out on all the decorations and everything. They were so cool. I know. I'm really impressed oh. with that. If your best friend doesn't do it for you, who would? Right. Right. So <laughs> thank you, Amy. <laughs> so um, you guys know that I. I love throwing parties. It's no secret of mine. However, there are some mishaps and some things that happen. And it made me think like, what is the worst thing about for you guys throwing a party? Like what's like the ultimate worst thing of when you actually throw a party? Having to clean the house. Oh, yeah, Horrible the day after. afterwards. Horrible. Yeah, because, like, both of them suck, but the day after, I swear to God, it's worse. It than is. Just, like, your regular cleanup to have, like, people over, you know. That's right. why I try to use paper but I don't know. as I think, much as possible. Like, never being yeah. really sure how many people are going to show up. Yeah, I hate uh, that, too. Yeah, that's uh, my biggest pet peeve is when somebody's telling me that they'll be leaving soon, and then the party starts, and, like, a half hour later, then they start they're just not going to come. That's like my biggest pet peeve. Well, then you end up having like, a, you buy all this extra food or whatever. And like a bunch of people don't show up and then you're like, okay, well, I just spent all this money and, you know, right. time making sure I had stuff for everybody. So yeah, I get that. Um, That's think, my biggest. Well, yeah, because um, I'm stuck with, nobody will take the food home. <laughs> so I have all this food. <laughs> in the house like Cash, you brought like i don't know like 30 pounds of cheese they did <laughs> it's gonna go bad nobody would take anything home unless we might pick it up i was All gonna right. say girl like i will never let cheese go bad right if you tell me you have cheese that is gonna go bad i will come take it oh yeah i yeah, will, I will take one home. for the team if cheese is involved yeah <laughs> i no see i forced Cass to take the cake home so I was like, that's not going to get eaten. It's going to be in my trash can. You got to take it home. I didn't take yeah. it home. <laughs> yeah. Well, it home. you gave it to somebody. I think you gave it to Hannah. Oh, well, whatever. It's not here. So this well, it. Yeah, it's gone. That's all that matters. Yep. <laughs> huh. So I I'm wondering if I should check the backseat of my car right now. <laughs> yeah, because I think you took half of it, to be honest with you. You might want to check on that. So on that note, let's do our first drunken confession of the night. Sounds Mine is, good. I don't remember taking cake home. <laughs> and there was no cake <laughs> in my house. 
What is your go-to drink when you're stuck at home, but you are really wanting to drink? I have like, no drink. idea what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> your your go-to, like you're stuck at home, but like, okay, so. Depends on my mood. Yeah, I was gonna say, first is like your mood, and then like how drunk are you trying to get? <laughs> That's also important. Well, it's when you're like in the mood for, okay, so like. Like, am I, in like the mood, to... am I in the mood to just like, just deal with being home or am I in a, right. all right, I, I need to put some shit out of my head and I don't care if it makes me angry drinking. <laughs> How about no. just Because uh, those I are two different home, answers. But I'm in a it's great mood and I want to drink. Going, yeah, it's a, I miss going out to the bar, but I want to act like I'm in the bar. So right. what can I go and get and yeah. party it up? I mean, the uh, this has become my default, my the doji, and and as much as everyone makes fun of me for it, I don't care. I like it. Uh, it's good. It's uh, the, right? it's, the, it's it's the Yezhinovka and and Mountain Dew, and it's so it's it's a blackberry brandy with a citrus soda, and it's freaking amazing. And, and y'all can kiss my ass. No, oh, no, that's fine. You know, Dave, if you like drinking paint thinner, that's your business. <laughs> It makes me gag thinking about it. I know. No. I tried, like, seriously, I only tried enough just to wet my tongue, and it was like, no. I, I, I'm pretty I, sure I, that's not the first time you've had that experience. Well, and we've um, also established that you have bad taste, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, snap. Wow. Just saying. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was I supposed to, was I just supposed to sit back and take it? I'm sorry. I'm sure that was that was my Yeah, you were. <laughs> you absolutely were. Um well I guess my go to is wine. Either like right now it's mostly been um either uh rose or uh Sauvignon Blanc, something like because it's summer and it's warm. I do love red wine, but um, you know, when it's hot out, I don't want to drink like a room temperature wine, like a heavier right. wine. I want something like lighter and not sweet though, only dries. But you know, that would be, that's my go-to right now. Yum, yum. <laughs> my go-to like is always beer. I don't dip in the Amy liquor. Doesn't. Although you <laughs> no. did drink, you drank strawberry margaritas Saturday. Yeah. I had one. I had one because then I had instant heartburn and was like, where's the Toms? Will give me the beer. Like when I want to get fancy, I buy like an expensive beer. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like the uh, Sam Adams Boston Lager and the um, Atwater's uh, Vanilla Java Porter. That makes me feel like I'm at the book. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm normally like a Corona light. But if I feel like, if I'm feeling a little frisky and, you know, I want to have a good time, I love the, um, Apothic Red makes a sparkling wine now. Absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. So I've been, uh, I, I'll drink, I'll drink the heck out of that, you know, like a two bottle <laughs> night. So that stuff's pretty good. So that's my go-to for that. So well, but there you have it, folks. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Because I, you were the burning questions that people need the answers to. <laughs> of, course, of course. So speaking of drinking and party, so as everybody heard, Amy had this party for me because I'm having um, a hysterectomy Tuesday. So I will be in the hospital on Wednesday. So I will, we will not be shooting next week. Accurate. So so everybody <laughs> knows we will not be shooting next week. So yes. So I'm going under the knife. I'm actually having a robot perform the surgery, I mean, which is kind of like a really dedicated person would just do it from a phone from their hospital bed. I'm just saying <laughs> you can get zoom on your phone. That's, that's like weak sauce. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, Dave, like if you had part of your inside taken oh, out, if, would you really feel up to if, talking? If I had a hangnail, the next day? I would, like, I'm, a, I'm a guy. If I had a hangnail, we wouldn't be broadcasting. Like that's right. That's, I was going to say, <laughs> come on, man. That's like some pretty severe surgery. <laughs> it's actually not the surgery that's stopping me. It's the fact that I can't drink. <laughs> Oh, oh, now the truth wow. is coming out. Gotcha. I think the hospital's going to let me have a bucket of uh, Corona Light with me, so. Well, I mean, I'm, I am I do the that. show, and I'm not drinking. I'm drinking Diet Pepsi. You don't have to drink to do the show. I'm just saying. I mean, maybe you have do, you, have, you met, have you met us? All right, where's Stephanie's mute button? How is <laughs> yeah, I know. Do you have a title? <laughs> oh, hi, man. Hi, hi, Stephanie. My name is well, Kathleen. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Apparently, I'm like, you know, 
the voice of reason here and y'all are like just trying to shut me up because I'm like no you don't have to drink and you're like mute she never said that that's lies. not true lies it's Sorry. mandated she's joking it's, it's being it's, funny it's, it's in the agreement funny. we all signed yeah she's just being silly you know, can you cut that out later no yeah. Yeah. That's right no <laughs> I do the editing, so I'm not oh, going to no. cut that out later. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I'm enjoying my drinks tonight, though, because this is the last time I can drink for a while. So, Well, then you're do it up, girl. To, you're not supposed to drink so many days before surgery and stuff like that. You know, something about bleeding out or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, wow. transfusions are for. I mean, They're only called recommendations. They're not rules. <laughs> Like the yellow sign that says take this curve at 40 miles an hour. Right. It's a yellow sign. You don't have to listen to it. Nah. That's not real law. <laughs> That's a warning. <laughs> oh my God. You might want to do this speed limit. <laughs> For most won't. Those, those are white signs. You have to listen to those. For sure. So, yeah. So, we won't be doing it next week. So, uh, I just wanted to warn everybody of that to, to begin with. So, tonight we're going to be raffling off the man basket, the masket that we got. We'll be doing that at the end of the show. Cool. Yeah, so if you entered into the giveaway, make sure you stay tuned for the entire episode. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of entries this time, surprisingly enough. I guess a lot of men didn't want to say that they needed that basket. Maybe well, I mean, there's a flashlight. There's like a, a base. There's basically a flashlight in there. Well, and I mean, sadly, there was there was no way for me to like stuff the ballot box with Eddie's name. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> right? There's no wow. ballot box. You can only, you can only uh, put your name in once. So right, <laughs> right, right, right. So yeah, so we'll be raffling that off at the end of today's show. Okay, so um, next up is I have to I have to share with you guys my rant of the week. I am driving home, and I swear to God, nobody knows how to f and drive. Accurate. I'm on I'm on the phone with Cass, but I, she's on speaker. So it's like, no, I'm not, don't have my phone in my hand or anything. I'm driving. This old man is like riding my tail and is going onto the shoulder because he wants to get into where the lane turns into two lanes before I can do that. Oh, I hate when, I hate that. I got, you know what? I have a 15 year old car. You want to fight for this lane? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't, <laughs> this thing can get trashed. I don't care. Good old <laughs> Betty has lasted 15 years. I, she's still fully insured. I am looking for an excuse for somebody to hit me. <laughs> right. I was actually saying this on the phone with me, actually yelling. I was yelling at him. I'm like, nice. I hear you. <laughs> Amy makes fun of me for my road rage. I don't usually see Amy with road rage. Today, she was raging. She's oh, like, was she's so like, oh, bad. yeah, you want to go there? She's like, you want to go there, old man? We'll go there. She, <laughs> she's like, she's like, oh, yeah, go ahead. My car's 15 years old. You really want to do this? You really want to? I'm like, damn, Amy. <laughs> oh, it was great, though. We need to get the uh, the, the uh, bull ring like the cop cars have. <laughs> Yeah, right. Boom. Right on, uh, good old Grand Prix. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was pretty funny listening to that, though. The other so, thing that I had to share with you guys is uh, I have two more stories about my drive home. Oh, God. God. <laughs> uh, besides all the road rage. So then I'm driving. Okay, I'm just like, do do do, trying to get home. And I see one of those white vans that are like no windows, you know, like the creepy mm. van. MRUs, yeah. mo mobile rape units, yes. On the side of it is spray painted Bob's Food. <laughs> and it looks like. <laughs> that sounds legit. Like, <laughs> it looks like somebody like me spray painted it. Like it was just, it was Bob's hey. Food. They tried <laughs> to put some effort into it. You know, and I'm sitting here like, are they like going down the street and opening that side door? Like, hey, what's your favorite food? Oh, taco. You want a taco? We got tacos in here. No, 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 no. no. I'm, no. I'm going to need you to hunt that van down and find out and get me contact information because I'm going to pay them to park across the street from Bob's house. 
<laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. You know, you know, not everybody can afford, you know, when they're first starting out a business, they can't afford professional signs. Okay. They're doing the best that they but can do it in, in this a economy white van with no windows. <laughs> At least get, you know, I, I would give Bob Strew a chance. Letters. I'd give him a shot, you know. See, and this is how Stephanie gets kidnapped. A for Just effort, man. You know. Free alcohol. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the last we ever saw Cass. <laughs> yeah, right. If it, if it said Bob's bar, then that's a bigger issue. Yeah. yeah. Amy would be following it still. Yeah, like, where are you <laughs> She'd going? be like, stop. <laughs> where, where, where are we going, Bob's bar? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, All right my, maybe final, the last. my final story was, um, I don't know if it was last week or the week before we talked about like your worst blonde moment, like something right. stupid. That, okay. So, um, I had mine today and I was really happy at the time that I was alone when I had it, but I'm going to share it with you because it's too funny not to share. Mm -hmm. I'm driving down 94 and there's a, a, a billboard and it says hashtag in this together. Greek Town Casino, right? In my mind, I read it number <laughs> in this together. And I'm like, you forgot number. what a hashtag was for a minute? She did. <laughs> well, I mean, that's so that's why the running joke when the whole Me Too thing oh was going God. on. And and all the, the all everybody was like, you well, you know that's a pound sign, right? So it it, it you're basically just it's pound me too. Like what? I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it was a pound when it was on the phone. Oh, I don't man. know why it became a hashtag. It was a it was a they good. They still call it a pound when you're doing like stuff over the yeah. phone. They still call it that. Yeah. I, honestly, when I see that, I think of a number symbol, not hashtag. Right. That's just me, but also that's also when you first time you felt old when it was that was me today. <laughs> this is the first time. Well, yeah. one of the I first. have those. I have those experiences daily. Well, I hang yeah, out with you, I hang out with you, so I constantly feel young. Wow. Um, <laughs> She's been uh, she's not been, uh, not not getting a lot of slack here tonight, Cass, at at all. For oh no, <laughs> Amy and Steph have both been like they got their sassy pants on. Yeah, but I haven't made I haven't made fun of anybody yet. No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, just sassy. Amy's been making fun of me since I saw Amy and I met for lunch today because I had the day off and I'm like, hey, let's go to lunch. So we went to lunch, and she started there. It was rough. You know what happens when I'm in a good mood? I get sassy. I've been in a great mood today. It was good. the shawarma. Shawarma puts everybody in a good mood. <laughs> it really does. True. It doesn't yeah. hurt. No, no arguments there at all. Well, I ended up going to the wrong shawarma place first. So we went, I went somewhere else. We bought this, this place before, but I went somewhere else and I'm like, this don't look familiar. You wouldn't believe how many Mediterranean restaurants there are in Canton. There's a lot. Yeah, and a lot of them begins with the letter S, because that's all I could remember. It begins with S H, and it's a it's a it's a Mediterranean place. And I'm like, nice. oh wow, there's a lot. <laughs> Sheesh, shabab, shaboom, shabab. Yeah, I know, right? I was all like, right. okay, I finally found it. Are we ready for another drunken confession? Oh, well, absolutely. Well, since you rang the bell, do we have a choice? Nope. <laughs> Them's right, the then. rules. I guess I'm ready. Oh, this is a uh, okay. <laughs> have you ever had a sex dream about a family member ew, <laughs> ew. i mean okay like this it thing? happens though i was huh? gonna say you can't control your subconscious a eh? so like before anybody right. goes oh that's gross it's not like no, you purposely I'm saying, like you woke up and you're like ill why did right. i dream that okay yeah because well, Cass was already going, oh, a, a family member? And it's like, yeah, it can happen. Your, your subconscious will let you dream of pretty much, I mean, the sky's the limit. Let's just put it that way. Um, and, and your conscious might have just been saying, fuck that person. And your subconscious was like, all right, let's get that out of our system. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it took it in the wrong way. He loves that theory. Kyle transfer got a little twisted that night. Right. Tomato, yeah, tomato. No, that's yeah. Honestly, it's never happened to me, thank God. I mean, I've had some dreams about some sketchy people. And I was like, whoa, what was my mind doing? But never family. 
And then um, he woke up next to them, and he was even worse. That's <laughs> 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 very strange. <laughs> Um, I, when I was a, when I was younger, I oh got, I can't even remember like how old I was. I have like a third cousin who was like a lot older than me and who I would see like, you know, once a year, I didn't have a sex dream about him, but like I had a dream. Cause like, I had such a crush on him. I was really young yeah. and uh, I had such a crush on him. Uh, he was just so handsome. And I was like, Oh my God, you know? Uh, and I had a dream like that we, we went on like a date and he bought me ice cream and a puppy. Aww. So Aww, yeah, what a great cousin! I mean, now we know the way to Stephanie's heart. It's it, it was a harmless dream, but it was also a date with my third cousin. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> you know, it in in some states it's perfectly fine and acceptable. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst kind of dream I could have had. Yeah, <laughs> I personally don't think um, I've ever had a sex dream about anybody in my family. So. I'm not saying it's abnormal. It's just never happened to me. Thank well, you. Well, yeah, just yeah, just because it happens doesn't mean everybody right. has that dream. Right. It's just you know. Jeremy. No, I definitely have not had one of those dreams. Well, hopefully that... I don't. <laughs> the day is young. You know, you got to go to sleep sometime, Jeremy. I probably will tonight. <laughs> now. We start Thanks, tonight. Guys. We're all going to have stories tomorrow okay. morning. Now, now, now that that's been Good planted. Good job, Amy. Amy just oh, Brady, Brady in our group Brady messenger, the fuck like, out of us. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's uh, now we're all going to have one and we're going to have to admit it to each other. But you know what? We've already done the drunken confession, but we have to admit it to each other off air. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> that's just. What about you, Dave? uh oh dude uh yeah it's with a couple of cousins in jersey it's i mean that dude like because I, I see them like maybe when i was younger i saw them like maybe once a year um and and did, some of them are really freaking hot what do you I, i'm not even gonna try to lie that yep <laughs> <laughs> you know it's so funny though that you mentioned dreams so last night i had the weirdest dream i did not sail away to china in a rowboat so fine yeah but um <laughs> I had a dream that Tom was taking me for my surgery and kept insisting that he had to stop at some electronics store on the way. And he kept insisting, oh, we have time, we have time. And in my dream, I'm wearing my gown and my cap, like you know, ready to go back. That's not and a I'm dream, thinking, that's a premonition. Right. Well, that's, that's what I said. So it happen. I woke up this morning and I was like, Tom. You are not going anywhere when you take me next week for my surgery. We are going straight there. Don't think about taking me anywhere or when we're coming home. Because I could see him trying to pull that shit. Dude, like, that hey, is, we just going to stop. That is, such a, inside, like, that is such a woman thing. Like, guys tend to not do, like, it's more, I should say, it's more typically a woman thing. That, like, if if we do something wrong in one of your dreams, like, y'all are mad at us for, like, days over that shit. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, you know, this morning I was like, you're such a selfish asshole. You're willing to make me late for my appointment. So I'm yeah, like, try, try to be in a doghouse and have no clue why. You just know you are. And it's not even just something I actually did. This time. This time. This time, yeah. I mean, I've had dreams where, you know, I wake up mad, but I'm only mad literally while the dream is like working its way out of my, like, because I wake up upset. And, right. I'm, and, I, and then all of a sudden I realize, holy shit, it was just a dream. Okay. Once the adrenaline goes away, I'm not mad anymore. But that, that when I first wake up, I'm like, what the hell? Cause so you know, what Jeremy's referring to is, is I had a dream one night that he cheated on me and it was like a very vivid dream. And when I woke up, I literally, it was one of those dreams that I was like, was that reality or was that a dream? You know what yeah. I mean? And I was mad, but I figured out it was a dream. However, I was salty all day. Like, I wasn't, <laughs> like, mad at him. Like, I wasn't, like, trying to be, like, fighting with him or anything. But I was just, like, I don't know about you. Like, <laughs> in trouble, man. You were such an ass in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know I, about you. You know I'm what? I'm so sorry. I would never do it again. <laughs> Uh, but Cass, speaking of, you know, people making you late to, to get to your surgery, uh, when my mom was pregnant with me, my dad stopped to get fast food on the way to the hospital. Oh, snap. Wait, I've heard of that before. That happens. Yep. 
So there was oh, that. Oh, hell no. And I mean, my parents got divorced when I was like I was going to say you're divorced, so, right? <laughs> that would yeah. be something Jeremy did, like, um, I got to stop for cigarettes. You're good, right? right? Yeah. Like, yeah, be fine. You got time. <laughs> yeah, no, it, you know, it's, and it, I, I mean, I guess like I had to, okay, it's not that big of a deal, I guess, but like still, it, it, I don't know. It's just something I wouldn't personally do if I was taking somebody to the hospital for a surgery or if they were having a baby or whatever, just take them there. And then once you get them there, go get whatever you need, get them right. there first, mm-hmm. you know. That's like you I can leave. leave. You you yes. don't mean that. You know, oh, oh, so you're gonna you see so you. I, I'm giving birth to your child, and you're gonna leave me to go get McDonald's. That, that I, I I don't see that happening. Well, I'm not you're gonna ever give, giving you're gonna birth to there. anything. So for me, that's not even like a. I don't have to worry about that personally. I'm. Just, I was just saying. I was, I, Maybe if, you know, if if I had to worry about it, I might I might change my tune, but I don't have to. Nothing. Yeah, I have I have ever, concerns. Over Tom staying. <laughs> I have concerns over Tom staying. Well, he like, asked me. I, I He's like, asked Cass, Cass a million me? times. I've asked Cass a million times, are you sure I don't need to take the day off and just like sit in the waiting room all day and make sure that your husband stays there? I know, like, he's like, <laughs> he's like, do I have to, I have to stay? And I'm like, yes. He goes, why? I'm like, it's major surgery. And in case anything happens, right. and he goes, like, you need well, to be there. He's like, can I leave him my cell phone number? I'm like, can do they, I need to call somebody else? Can they, can they like send me a note on like, can they DM me on Twitter if when right, you're I'm ready? Like, can they? Should I be like making my daughter my POA right now? I'm really starting to get concerned. <laughs> yeah, I. Well, anyway, would we have to talk. Too. Doesn't doesn't the Tesla yeah, have an said, so we doesn't the Tesla have an app that integrates with the schedule at the hospital? Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, we had a long talk about that and the day after when I come home and yeah, yeah, interesting. All right, so oh. I don't know what's what's next on our agenda. Right, so the next the next on our agenda started for this. So real quick, real quick, taking your words for you, Amy. Um, we're putting our house on the market this week. Woo-hoo. So I have been trying to get my house ready to get put on the market. And I realized I have a dirty little secret. And Uh-oh. I didn't really realize this until I'm doing all this work to get my house ready. I have been trying to organize for a long time and it just, you know, doesn't happen. And if you come over to my house, it doesn't look bad. I have a nice house. And yeah. people like my house. They would be like, oh, your house is beautiful. Especially people who like my decorating style. Most people don't. Um, <laughs> but so as I'm cleaning, I realize. I am a pack rat. Come over to my house. It looks great. Do not open a closet. I swear to God, I got, I have so far thrown away six black garbage bags full of stuff. And I have two more garbage bags going to Goodwill. So you're a secret hoarder. Like you I'm hoard, not hoarder but because, only in like little areas, like right, closets. Right, because you, and... you've been over my house. My house is neat, clean. Cl- yeah, not very, no. We, I don't, I'm not cluttered. Well, and that's what I'm saying. You're a secret hoarder. Like you put it oh behind God. closet doors that so nobody can see. I was, like I was cleaning under hoarder. my sink. Oh my God. What? You're like a stage two hoarder. Like you're, you're yeah, not. Yeah, you're not like, <laughs> yeah, not there yet. We Not don't have yet. to like walk through the tunnels of stacked up newspapers, newspapers you know. Well. No, but if it yeah. gets any worse, I'm going to need an intervention. Because let me tell you, I could not believe the amount of shit I threw away that I am, I'm like, I own this? What is this? You know, I'm like, oh, I don't I even would, know what this shit is. When I, so when, anyway. I started, when I started working on all the gaming systems down here yeah. and I started going through like all the like crates of, of stuff, miscellaneous stuff that I had from a technology standpoint... I threw away four giant like contractor cleanup bags full uh, and, and with um, uh, I, God, I can't tell you how many hundreds of feet of phone wire, uh, coax cable, uh, just all, old tech that I'm never like old hubs and switches and and that are like that are like aren't even worth keeping or th- you know they were not even worth thinking. Not about even donating. used anymore. Yeah, they're well. Yeah, they're not even worth thinking about donating, right? Because they're just useless. And I'm just like, what? Like, what's wrong with me? Like, why? Dude, I found a like I found a my StarTac flip phone 
the, yeah, I, I found a, my page net pager that dude, you turn it on. There's not even any network. Cause I, I totally did. Like I replaced the battery and turned it on. And there's not even a network to connect it to. And it still thinks it's 1993. That that's how old this pager is. So yeah. It's on one G error. Error. Yeah. yeah. No, it was on, it was on no G is what that's. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was me today. I'm like, wow, I think this company's out of business. You know, it was just crazy. So I figured, you know what, that was my, that's my dirty little secret is I am a flipping pack rat, which I didn't even come to terms with until this week while I'm trying to clean. So I thought I'd ask you guys what your dirty little secrets are. Uh, we're all like, hmm. I know. You're all thinking about it. Cause yeah, you know, like I would think it was something sexual, but now I realize, no, it's just I'm a freaking pack rat. I'm 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 definitely a tech hoarder, like because like that that doesn't even touch like that like the cabling and all that shit, dude. I still have my CompuServe installation diskettes. Um, I don't even have a computer that has a diskette drive, a floppy drive on it anymore. I couldn't even tell you where to find one. Um, I've got my like DOS in, dude. I've got. Um, uh, do you remember iOmega zip drives? I got I got a couple I got a couple of those Uh, okay so you got you so you got a lot of stuff yeah and it's all and and it's but like so but here's why it's because my interfere like five years ago I got the strangest phone call from a friend he was like dude he's like you're the only person I could think of that would possibly be able to help me here my dad's computer died and I don't know why but he's still running Windows 95 yeah do you still by any chance have a Windows 95 install CD and I'm like yes I do (laughs) (laughs) so that's my fear is that like someone's going to ask me for something and i'm not going to be able to be like the hero that saves the day like that okay but that's what hoarders do is they have a fear they have an irrational fear that they might need all of that yeah (laughs) so yeah i mean i guess that makes sense yeah that was me i i was throwing away 11 year old face powder and and yeah I'm like, You're like, I'm like I really don't think 11 year old eyeshadow keeps that well that's not, gonna, <laughs> that's not something you want to put on your face no no true. no I really that's, don't need that's that's, that's, that's how COVID-2 gets released that's uh, <laughs> I think some of it actually climbed into the garbage can for me <laughs> nice I can't think of any like I, I think I'm pretty transparent I don't think I have any like weird secrets or no. I don't know I can't I can't honestly I really can't think of anything if oh. I do think of something though before the end of the show I'll just throw it out there yeah I'm not trying to get out of answering it I really just don't think I have one I am gonna go get some yogurt while uh Amy and Jeremy answer because I'm hungry and I would like some yogurt <laughs> so your yogurt stuff. I will be right back <laughs> you know sometimes you just gotta have your yogurt things things i have never said in my life i'm hungry i'm gonna go get some yogurt i've I've, (laughs) that i've I've never said those two sentences together in my life i mean yeah uh my dirty little secret um i'm obsessed with baby yoda not a secret secret. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) by definition I have one. Okay, what is it? Um, I hoard glasses of water in my bedroom. Like every night, okay, and it's not on purpose, but it is like the biggest pet peeve I have about myself. Every night when I go to bed, I take a glass of water, but instead of bringing last night's glass out like that mo- the next morning or- you forget, yeah. I end up putting it on my dresser and then I put the fresh glass on the nightstand. And before I know it, I have 12 glasses of half drink in water. And it looks like the little girl from. You, you, I was going to say, you should start doing that, like the music that people do yeah. with, with like the different filled water glasses. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my, I guess, dirty little secret bad habit. I bring my same glass every night. I have a tumbler, like a co- cooler, like whatever, my Yeti. I feel that I bring that every night, the same cup. Maybe you should try that. Why? That means I have to wash that cup every single day when <laughs> I have 12 cups. She, she can wash 12 cups <laughs> once every two weeks. 
Right. right. Like, Is that why you didn't have any glasses the other day when I went in your cupboard? <laughs> it, it, you know, if it was during the week, probably. <laughs> Not going to lie. Jeremy? Jeremy? Oh, mine's definitely got to be all the mechanical stuff that I keep, like something... Because I build stuff all the time, and I fix so much stuff that it's like something will break, and, I, and rather than just completely throwing away, I'm like, it's got a lot of good screws in it. I can do something with that. I'll take all the screws out. I'll put it in a little cup. Like, oh, no, wait, these go here. You know? <laughs> You're talking to the guy that when we, our refrigerator broke and we bought a new refrigerator, he took the parts <laughs> out of the refrigerator and made stuff. Oh, made a shelf out of the inner parts of the doors. So he took like the inner paint cans. He took the inner part of the door and hung it up in the garage, and it now holds all of his spray paint hmm. bottle. That seems perfectly logical to me. I was gonna say, I mean, took, that... Then he took the inside shelves and he transported them to my laundry room. I'm not complaining. Oh, do you have glass shelves? So I have glass shelves in my laundry room. In the laundry tub, so you can wash stuff over the tub. And nice. the water and the soap would just flow into the tub. But you got a table there. Oh, I'm like, Jeremy's good. so proud of himself. He's like... A repurposing shit. <laughs> yeah. Time. I call him fucking MacGyver. I swear to God. Oh, I just got done building a plow for my snowblower so I can level my yard. <laughs> with a steel blade and all. <laughs> all right, it's, so a shit. <laughs> it's a true story. That's so, my life. Jeremy... Jeremy got a riding lawnmower, and funniest shit ever. Amy has like the smallest yard I've ever seen, and Jeremy's got it this big like, ass riding lawnmower five, for it. Five swipes. Wait a minute. Yeah, I, I just I just thought that through. Like, is it is your yard even big enough for the thing to turn around in? Turn around? Right. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just articulating zero turn mowers so I can mow around a pop can if I want to. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's man. Got, it's a super tight turn radius. Otherwise, you can be able to my cotton service. Dude, you could. I, it's going to be great. Dude, especially as much as Bailey and Toby have destroyed that backyard, like you could mow your yard with like a pair right. of scissors. What's wrong so with you? Anybody, okay. Anybody, we're in our backyard. So, anybody who doesn't know what my backyard looks like, <laughs> like legit. Like, come on. <laughs> That was my idea. That's the, that's the, Why would oh, you plow your backyard? No, no the for the driveway, because the driveway is longer oh, than my backyard is. So. That's true. Okay, that I can see. Uh, yeah. Okay. I know. That's how I felt hey, when he came home with it. I, when dude, the I, hey. I was making shit. Hey, man, as I sit down here for the past couple of days rewiring the 15 retro game consoles that I have wired up to this TV, I have no room to talk. Enjoy your shit. That's the <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at the same time, feel sorry for Amy that I have to tolerate all this. Oh, and then even your front yard. You have, like, a big-ass tree right in the middle of your front yard. So you yeah, the, it won't even that. work in the front yard. No, let's be It'll real. Work. I told him, I said, the only reason why I would, I would use this riding lawnmower is if you make an easy ramp that I can put it in the back of the truck, drive it over to my mother's house where I have to cut her grass. Got those. <laughs> and then I can get my mom's grass instead of taking an hour to do her grass, I can have it done in 20 minutes. Or we could get our riding lawnmowers together and you and I can race down the street while we drink. <laughs> <laughs> what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, I think that's considered drunk driving. It, 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 really, it really would right? be a DUI. That's the scary yeah, part. Yeah. Can we do it in your big backyard? DUI can we do it in your big backyard before you move out? Mm -hmm. Can we have lawnmower racing in your backyard? <laughs> we can do it in the new house. The new house. We're having the same. We're on the this same show line. is this show is getting more and more downriver by the minute. Like now. Now we're discussing oh, 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 Mr. Highfalutin, I'm from, where are you from? Clinton, uh, Clinton Township. Uh, no, I just, I, I'm sorry. You know, I, I don't want to dirty my hands hanging out with you down river folk. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. If, if I were to just randomly say drunken backyard tractor races, where would you assume that's happening? My backyard right now. <laughs> Taylor. Arlton. <laughs> but my new my new house has the same amount of acreage, so 
It doesn't matter where we do it. But my new house is going to have a pool. Pool? Uh, not a cement pond, because I can't afford one of them, but I'm going to have a pool. <laughs> Yay. All right, so, Cass, um, I think it's time for you to turn off your background and show our viewers the basket. Oh, I'm and like, announce why do I have to turn the winner. Off my background. I'm like, because I clean well, my because the basket doesn't. <laughs> you can't see the basket with a background. Oh, I thought it was because you know I, I've been cleaning, <laughs> so everything's spotless right now. Um, just again, just don't oh, open the, the closet do you, door. You don't right. even have a basket, do you? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. Oh, picture of it. Cass being typical cast, she's got to go find. It. I hope she didn't pack it away already. Oh. <laughs> I had it. It was just across the room. <laughs> Hold on. So it was. It was nearby. That's good. Oh, yeah, see, it didn't take me long to get it. Basket. All right. So there's the basket that we're raffling off. You got condoms. You got a hand jive. You got about twenty dollars worth of scratch offs. You got little bottles of liquor in there. Yeah. Um, I think there's some lube in there. Yeah. All kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. All, all, all kinds oh, yeah. of goodies. There's. It's a whole party for one in a basket. Yeah. There you go. Hi, liquor. Look. Liquor yourself up or, and then use the, or, you know. Hey, it's, a, it's, it's Or an awkward first date in a basket. <laughs> <laughs> or or a really, really good first date in a basket. I, I mean. Oh, all right, I'll give that to you. Depends whatever. You look at it. It's all so, half full, half empty, whatever. So I was looking for a container to put it in, but I cleaned everything, so I don't have any small containers anymore. <laughs> We got like 40 yeah. boxes for you. Just come get them. I know. <laughs> so anyway, we only have this many applicants, or not applicants. Doesn't matter Contested. how many there were. Let's just, let's just. What's it called when you? Sweepstake people. It's, it's, it's quantity, not quality. Just go. All right. Yeah. Or, right, or the other way around. Whatever. Yeah. No, I think it's something like that. <laughs> All right. So are we ready? Yeah. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hold on a second. Okay. Can I get a drum roll? So you're not ready then. <laughs> I got a drum roll. Thank you, Jeremy. And the winner is Robert Callison. Uh, oh, Rob. You know who it is. Is that yeah, it? Oh, yeah, I know who Rob is. That's my best. That's my best friend's husband. Oh! Oh! And, okay. Yeah, and you know what? He could actually use it. So there we go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that's saying about your best friend, but congratulations, Rob! I, I love my best friend. I'm just saying, Rob, could you all use right. that? That's all I'm saying. Hey. All right. So what we'll do is, um, since Stephanie knows you, we will get the basket to Stephanie, and Steph will get the basket to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Um, I'm hopefully going to be going out there in the next uh, few weeks. If, so if I not, can, if they not in, we will. They live... Where? If not, we will ship it. You guys will uh, hear from Rob. Let us know how you want to handle the transfer. I'll be more than happy to ship it for you. Congratulations. Thank you for participating. For everyone who participated, thank you. We appreciate it. I'm I'm super fun. I'm super disappointed it wasn't Eddie that won. I'm I know I was kind of kind of keeping my fingers crossed for good old Eddie. But, oh, sorry, you know, Eddie. What are you gonna do? Sorry, we'll have more raffles in the future. I have a yeah. couple more hand jives if you want to buy them. Buy them one for a Christmas present. There you go. There we go. Forty nine ninety nine. I, I, I actually, I, I think anonymously shipping him one would be the way to go. I think that's phenomenal. I think, I think that, yeah. Really, it's enough. Yeah, that's you said fine. anonymous you, anymore? You just said you were gonna. I, do right it. now, he's gonna know. <laughs> Since he gets it, he's gonna be like, "Fuck you, Dave." I mean, he or would assume it. He would assume it was me Dave. anyway. Yeah, he he would assume it was me anyway. Let's be real. Yeah, probably. It's true. That is true. Speaking of which, did you send Randy the penis pillow? No, that was not me. Oh, okay. All right, just curious about that. Well, already that. then. No, he, did, right, he, did, he did figure out who did it. It wasn't me. Oh, okay. 
Okay, Amy, so if any, anybody who's wondering, these are the type of friends we have. This mm -hmm. is the type of podcast we have. Random questions. Did you send somebody a penis pillow? You never know. It could happen. Amy, do you have one more drunken confession to sure. wrap up tonight? Absolutely. Last one. Last one. What? Sorry, Bailey, Bailey decided she wanted to be part of our podcast tonight. Of course. Um, do you enjoy sex with strangers? I, I used mean, to. Like recently? Or? Or? Yeah. No, ever. Like like Jeremy just said, he said, I used to, which I mean, was a great answer. Well, I mean, one okay, night like stand, I, like, another I, time I, and place, yeah. Like, well, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like I specifically was searching for that experience but it definitely occurred several times because you know shit happens <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do well obviously my answer was yes i used to that's how i met my husband oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay, um I assume I did. I assume I did the one time. Well, actually, it was more than once because he wasn't a one night stand. Amy and I have already gone round and round about one night stands. I'm not talking about the one guy because that was not, it, it wasn't sex and it was not enjoyable. But the one guy, I'm assuming it was, I don't know. I drank a lot. That's why I had sex with him. No, basically, Cass's answer is no. I don't think she's ever had sex with a stranger. She tried to have a one night stand, it didn't work. It didn't work, but there was another guy that I hooked up with, and he was a stranger, but we ended up hooking up more than once. So oh, then, okay. yeah, it okay. doesn't. But I did right. hook up with him without really knowing him, and then he got creepy and was stalking me a few years later, and Ugh. yeah. Well, I don't know what you... happened after that. Dave, what's your answer? Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, there was a, the one night stands had their time and place, sure. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we all answered. Everyone, everyone needs a little strange in their life now and again. All right. Well, honestly, Steph and I were hanging out the other night, two nights ago, and we were talking about a similar conversation. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm sorry, any girl, any female, and I've said this a million times, so I will say it now. Any female who says that she has never gone through a horror stage right. was we either... Talk about that. <laughs> Has either been married, knocked up and married at a very young age, yeah. or, married, or is fucking lying. One of the two. <laughs> I um, After my, my divorce, I... Oh, I'm sorry. It's realistic. And I really wish... I prefer to say I was a little promiscuous, okay? Yeah, I don't like That's the fine. word okay. whore phase. That's because fine. promiscuous. We, we can class it up here. <laughs> we we classing it up. All right, we're classing it up. Us down river chicks like classing up once in a while with our with with our natty ice and uh, you know and our marbles. You know we're gonna class it up. Well, your your marble reds and that. your Bud Light limes. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those Daddy girls, ice. they know Daddy what they're ice. doing. Mm -hmm. We like I'm that just, fresh, the freshness of that natty ice. I'm just saying it's a real thing. Girls go through that, and girls shouldn't have to be ashamed to say that they went through that small stage. Yeah, Everybody, everybody's done it. Everybody is a human being goes through phases like that. And there's no the shame most in part. it. The, for the most part. There are exceptions, but there is no shame in it. And anybody who shames a woman for doing the same is, is trash, in my oh, opinion. Totally agree. Totally agree. There is you try it. it. All right, on that note, I think we're going to do our end of the night cheers because yes. my dogs are getting all rambunctious. <laughs> um, so, again, congratulations, Rob, for winning the basket. We will uh, get that shipped out to you. We will not be back next week. Um, well, you guys can do it without me if you want. So, uh, you, will, you will have to miss us, but... I'm sure we'll have some pop-up videos here and there. Not for me. <laughs> we'll see it, Cass on all of her pain kill killers. Oh, yeah. Things may happen. It may be just a different kind of conversation. Right. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> uh, in the meantime, we still would love to hear from you guys. Join the Facebook. Uh, if you want to be a future guest, uh, you have a topic you want to talk about, message us, let us know. There's a lot more to come in the right. near future, I guess. So uh, on that note, the end yeah, of the night, cheers. All right, Amy, what Brought is it? to you by me. All right, raise your glass. You're drinking out of a can, honey. Whatever. Or a can, whatever. Whatever life you got. Is, <laughs> life is a waste of time. Time is a waste of life. So why not get wasted all the time and have the time of your life? Cheers. Works. All right. On that note, right. thank you for joining us, guys. Thanks for joining. Congratulations be safe, again, Rob. Be safe, be courteous, in and don't drink and drive. Pay the extra money and get an Uber or a Lyft. Or just drink and Zoom like we do. Yep. All right. So on that note, in two weeks. have an awesome couple yeah. weeks. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks again for listening to our show tonight. If you want more information, you can find it at facebook.com backslash my drunken confessions.